Now, your weekly Wolfpack Sports Update, brought to you by News 5. Hi, I'm Lee Douglas with your Wolfpack Sports Update for the week, and we have a lot to talk about. Let's start with CSU Pueblo Soccer, which enjoyed an exciting weekend on the pitch. The Pac Men entertained the third ranked team in the nation on Friday, Midwestern State, and they drew first blood with a 25 yard bullet to the net by true freshman Johnny Sawyer, but the Mustangs came back to claim a 3 1 win. Despite good efforts and tough opponents, CSU Pueblo is off to an 0 3 1 start and will look for its first win when it hosts Adams State for some Friday night football at CSU Pueblo. The PAC women are off to their best start since 2005 after sweeping the weekend with home wins over Angelo State and Texas Permian Basin. The wins were due in large part to the return of keeper Savannah Thompson, who posted a shutout against Angelo, and forward Morgan Perkey, who scored twice, also in the win over Angelo State. At 3-1, the Thunderwolves will play nationally ranked Fort Lewis this week before stepping up to play Division I Wyoming on Sunday. The CSU Pueblo volleyball team turned a major corner this week, going 3-1 at the Dallas Baptist Lady Patriot Classic, thanks in large part to the setting and attacking combo of University of Houston transfer Casey Griffin and senior middle blocker Bernadette Petrie. The Thunderwolves won three straight by three zip scores. The first time since 1997 it has accomplished that feat. And for their efforts, Petrie and Griffin were each named Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference Players of the Week. Now at 4-4, four and four, CSU Pueblo opens up its home schedule Thursday when it hosts Colorado School of Mines in the RMAC opener at Masari Arena. The Pac football team was looking to solidify its national ranking when it hosted Northwestern Oklahoma State in the Thunderwolves home opener at the Nita and Eddie DeRose Thunder Bowl. And it was all Thunderwolves in this game. The Pack piled it on in the first half as quarterback Ross Dowson found Kobe Wittick wide open in the end zone. That put the Thunderwolves up 10 zip. On the next possession, tailback Jesse Lewis takes it to the house from 56 yards out, the first of his three touchdowns on the game. All in the first half, by the way. The pack was up 34 zip at halftime. They called off the dogs after that for a 41 0 win. Now at 2 0, CSU Pueblo has risen to a ranking of number 18 in the country. They will travel to Alamosa for their Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference opener against Adam State in the Grizzlies' first ever night game. That'll be this weekend. And that does it for this week. We'll be back soon with another Wolfpack Sports Update. I'm Lee Douglas.